Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to what I think is gonna be the saddest part of my bachelorette challenge this far. I'm gonna cry and I already know we do have an elimination happening today. I'm already sad about it and now I'm gonna get even sadder. You all know who it is. If you go to my community page right now, you can tell, you can tell who it's gonna be. However, we are currently sat at the table with Jenna and Adrian, aka the two besties who you lot are all convinced are gonna get together, which honestly, I kinda want it. Oh my God, it's the thruple. It is literally the three that all of you absolutely adore. I would say right now, these three are absolutely the front runners. I would say Noah's probably fan favorite number one right now, then probably Jenna and then Adrian. I don't know, Adrian seems to have a soft spot with everyone, but we're currently feeling enamored by- <gasps> Did she just flirt with someone? Oh my goodness. It looked flirty, but I don't think she actually did flirt. She does want to flirt with Noah, which is kind of terrifying when my babies are also sat here. <gasps> Jamie, I will say, it's definitely Jamie who's gonna go because like with a majority vote, I'm fairly sure like was in almost the 50%, if not above 50%. So Jamie is gonna be heading home at the end of today. However, Arden, before I actually exited out of it because I'm playing by Jen's rules and Jen's rules state that you cannot woohoo unless there are only two contestants left. So we aren't gonna woohoo, I exited out of it. But Arden wanted to woohoo with Jamie and that just makes me think that she like wants to hang out with Jamie a little bit so we're gonna like say hello to them we're gonna give them a hug and I think I might actually have them do some stuff I think we'll do some like little one-on-one -on -one stuff with people today so why don't you come and do an energy centering routine Adrian I was gonna paint a picture with you I was gonna paint a picture with him, um, but he's already painting his own picture. I should set up the little room downstairs, like the little activity room for like kind of mini dates, but not really mini dates, just like staying at our house mini dates so that like we can just kind of spend some time with everybody, but it's kind of a chill day. Like I don't really feel like too much is gonna happen, which honestly I'm kind of thankful about because I feel like so much has happened recently that I need to chill. Aw, oh, Miles is out here doing some cooking. I also added slice of life back in because I kind of miss like the random interactions that were going on between the other contestants. So I have added that back in. Ooh, we have Alanis and Noah sat over here. Yes. I'm gonna try and Alanis seems to have taken a liking to Noah. <gasps> oh my God, they have good chemistry. <laughs> What the heck? When did this happen? We're gonna have a cheeky little deep conversation. Why the heck not? Have a little bit of a gossip. Oh my god, yeah, we had our first kiss with Alanis. I feel like Alanis really hasn't come out of their shell since that. Noah shows signs of the lover personality archetype. I mean, I bloody could have called it, couldn't I? Noah literally, like, wants everyone to love her, but also I feel like also loves everyone at the same time. Lover sims crave intimacy, live to experience pleasure, and are very passionate. I mean, she's got the sex eyes. Put those sex eyes away. Stop looking at me like that. What you doing? You, your little tears, naughty, naughty. Why are you so flexible? Oh no, my back would pop. Straight up, just pop. Miles, I have to say, Miles has gone down in my estimations. Miles really isn't uh, wooing me. 
I love all of Adrian's paintings so much. All right, I'm gonna stick that there. We're gonna do it. We're gonna add some easels downstairs. We're gonna invite Adrian downstairs. So we've kind of have a little thing with Jamie. I mean, we couldn't really talk, but they are leaving today. So that was kind of more like a farewell, Jamie. We'll miss you. Buddy, thank you for being here. But let's get in the easel. And then like we can get like some some gaming stuff down here for Jenna. I don't know what Miles is gonna like. My build mode has been so laggy. Has anyone else been dealing with that? Like whenever you go into build mode, it just goes ridiculously laggy. And then it like messes with your live mode until you like open this up and then it goes back to normal. Has anybody else had that? I don't know what is causing it, but it's real weird. All right, you two, we're gonna tell a story. Don't leave Adrian. I don't know, Adrian I'm also not feeling at the minute as well. But I feel like Arden like still wants to try. Like she is feeling enamored by him. So I don't wanna write him off completely just because of me. However, I definitely don't get the vibe from him that he is really attracted to Arden, but I am gonna do a landscape painting and you are also gonna do a landscape painting and then we can compare. What does he wanna do? <gasps> he wants to have the first woohoo. Are you for real? She wants to flirt with Noah. So I guess we'll hang out with Noah. I'm gonna compliment his art though. He'll love that. Like he complimented Angela Pleasance in the last part. Maybe that's just why I don't see it between them. Maybe I'm just a little bit jealous. Challenge to practice fighting. <laughs> why are you fighting? Who are you fighting? Who are you planning on fighting? I wanna know. Are you planning like a boxing match? You know, you need to carry on with the like famous trajectory after being on the Bachelorette challenge. So you just like wanna you want to become a boxer now? You're doing a freaking Paul brother? Ugh. I hate even making that reference. I despise myself. Don't worry, you don't have to tell me. She's so into him and she's trying so hard. And he's just focusing on his painting. My baby girl. Oh, what's going on between Jenna and Alanis over here? Excuse me, you two. What are you doing? Who's winding up who? I reckon Alanis has gone up to Jenna and be like, well, you may have been the first one that Noah kissed. Noah, I meant Arden. Me and Arden kissed yesterday and we were on a multiple date. So like clearly Arden felt something for me. Trying to make my little baby Jenna jealous. I love Alanis. Alanis is out here staring the pot and I am here for it. Why does this look like something I would have painted in Microsoft Paint? Did you ever do that thing where you did like all the background black and then you just used a spray can to make like fireworks? And he's off. I don't think he's feeling it. Honestly, like I'm surprised you lot didn't actually vote him out because I absolutely do not think Adrian is feeling being here right now. I think you're holding on to him because you think that something's gonna go on between him and Jenna. I think that's why you lot are like, F firmly have a grasp on that man. I guess we should just do it, right? I don't wanna drag it out. I feel bad on Jamie, to be completely honest. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna form a group with Jamie. I don't know if I'm still in a group with Adrian. I, oh, I am, of course I am. Even though he walked out on me. I'm gonna remove you from my group, buddy. And then let's go. Ooh, we haven't broke in the hot tub yet, actually. Jamie's head remembers Hamza. But who is Hamza? Jamie was in love with someone else this whole time. That's why Jamie's not been attracted to me. They like Hamza. Whoever Hamza is, I feel like probably was one of our bartenders at some point in time. I don't know why. I feel like everyone loves our bartenders. But we are going to compliment their appearance. And I will also, I don't wanna get like too romantic to be completely honest, cause like we're, we're ending things, but let's go too friendly. And I guess we should ask 
to just be friends. Jamie, I'm so sorry. I'm really sad to see Jamie go. I think we should christen the hot tub. I mean, keeps thinking about Noah. Also wants to hug someone, wants to go swimming. I'm gonna get rid of that. There we go. We are friends with Jamie. I do want to hug though. Like, even though we're friends, I do want to say goodbye to you. Jamie, I personally love you. And I'm actually really disappointed in all of you for voting Jamie out. Although I will agree and say like, it was really hard to get Jamie out of their shell. And they didn't seem like super interested in Arden, like, there wasn't really a lot of chemistry there, but they've decided to cool off their romantic relationship. I don't want to sway you lot as well. Like, I have my own opinions about who I think gets on well with Arden, but I don't want to sway you too much. Like, I, I know I've, like, joked about Adrian and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's completely up to you for you lot to decide who you want to keep and who you want to go and honestly i'm kind of here for the drama that you're all creating i feel like you're running away with your own narratives and that's exactly why i wanted to record another bachelorette challenge <laughs> we have 669,000 simoleons you know what i was just going through the sims and like their whims and stuff like that just like get a feel for them see how they're feeling about Arden and Alanis actually wants to ask Arden to be their girlfriend instead of doing that because honestly I haven't read the rules about asking like the bachelor or the bachelorette to be your significant other officially however I did decide well it's kind of in Alanis's blood to probably suggest something a little bit no Arden you get in that bloody no, you skinny dip. You are skinny dipping. Get back in, get back in this hot tub right now. We are going to kiss Alanis. Thank you very much. However, whilst Alanis is thinking about asking Arden to be their girlfriend, Arden is actually thinking about woohooing Noah for the first time and having her be her first. Like, you absolutely could not write this. The game is going wild. That was very, very sneaky, Alanis. Like, that was a very quick dip. She apparently just really, really wants to play chess. And I feel like the person who probably would play chess the most is probably Miles. Oh, never mind. Now I see why you want to play chess. Noah's sat here going, absolute check and mate, Alanis. Can you see the hot tub from this window? So you can see the roof. So Noah clearly just saw those two freaking go into the hot tub, clothes off, and has formulated a plan and has basically just text Arden from across the house saying, Arden, Wanna come play chess with me? Your move. I'm I'm obsessed. I love every single one of these Sims. I swear. I really don't care who wins anymore because I love each and every single one of them. Although I've barely seen Adara today. Adara is constantly just working out and honestly, I love that for her. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a workout with Adara. And Miles has really kept to himself recently. Like also hasn't been chatting to any of the other contestants like at all has basically just been like chilling on the pc the whole time what's jenna doing making herself a drink oh alanis is on her way upstairs is she about to come into the room the competition between alanis and noah right now is absolutely unreal i love this so much like you can clearly tell that alanis is like Two can play that game, Noah. I'm just gonna come in and keep an eye on how this chess game is going down. I can't. I love them so much. Like these two have an absolute rift going on right now. Get engaged. They're gonna kiss. They're gonna kiss. They're gonna kiss. Wait, 
Are you actually going to do it? Are you leaving the room to do it? Oh my god, it's going to happen. It's going to happen in front of Alanis. I can't. I don't think I can watch. This is about to be a car crash. I like, I want to look away, but I also can't. I wonder if they'll see it though. <gasps> we only kissed her cheek. <laughs> look at her face. Although Alanis didn't see it. Alanis was so... <laughs> So, I guess, like, there's a, I guess if Arden was behind here, you kind of wouldn't have seen it. Arden, you got away with that. Oh my god. Oh, Jen is so sad. I'm gonna try and cheer Jenna up a little bit. I don't like seeing her sad. I'm gonna try and brighten her day and talk about the sunny weather. You can stop playing chess now. I kind of want everyone to... Someone keeps pranking the toilets and it's so annoying. But yeah, I'm gonna have everyone get changed into their formal wear and we're gonna try and have a cute little, like, dinner. Okay, this isn't going so well. We have some people in their formal wear and then we have Arden in in her little swimming costume. <laughs> we have Miles in in the pajamas, like bless his little cottons. He hasn't got changed all day. I feel really bad. He made dinner for us, so I'm gonna try and brighten their day a little bit. Honestly, Arden cannot stop thinking about Noah. Like almost every whim is to do with Noah. I'm gonna share some ideas with you. Come on, gang. I wanted a nice family dinner and then you all just up and move. <gasps> Adrian doesn't look happy. I don't know what was, what was, why was he giving such like a rude face? What the heck? I am confused by that. We're gonna mention creative visions. We're also gonna compliment Alanis's appearance and, oh wait, it's complimenting appearance. I always forget if that's friendly or romantic. I'm gonna ask Jenna about her love life. We're feeling very flirty. Aw, these two are just taking themselves off to have a little party of their own, which I'm kind of about, but I kind of wanna at least talk to Miles a bit. I feel like he's been so rubbish recently though. Like, I don't know what's been going on with them. I feel like we probably need to go on another date. It's been so hard to keep tabs on everyone. I don't know what's been going on. Despite feeling a negative vibe from Jenna, Arden thinks things may change. Uh, <gasps> Alanis! Oh my... Alanis just blew a kiss at Arden? Right when Jenna... Jenna looks so sad. Oh no! Drifting love caught the love of her life flirting with another... Alanis! And look at Alanis's face. You know exactly what you've done. I can't believe they just did that. Alanis? Since we, like, cracked the first kiss, like, ever since that moment, I think Alanis has literally just been like, I have my sights set on you. That was detrimental to Jenna's relationship with Arden just then. That knocked it down so much. These two do... Alanis is causing beef with everyone, and I'm so here for it. Like, with Noah, but Arden was the one to kiss Noah in front of Alanis, so maybe that was Arden, like, kind of saying, like, hey, I still haven't decided, let's chill our boots. But now, again, in front of Jenna, who Arden and Jenna had some of the strongest relationship. But we're going off to play ping pong. Oh, Alanis just got left at the table, no! My sweet summer child. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Yeah, stretch out. It's all good. You don't need them. You're fine. You're killing the game. You're doing so well, truly. So many people have taken themselves off to bed. Oh, Jenna's just been like, can we go play some ping pong? Like, I'm still really sad about it, but maybe like playing a game of ping pong. Not even like juice pong either. Like just pure, straight, unadulted ping pong so damn sweet we are gonna actually try and apologize although considering we weren't the one 
Oh my god, Alanis is hot daydreaming about Hamza. I want to know who Hamza is and why has they got like literally everyone going crazy. We're gonna compliment Jenna's outfit. I'm also gonna hug her a little bit. We're gonna, I don't want to joke because I feel like they're sad, but I will um, try and brighten her day again. And I am also hugging her. Oh, okay, come on, we can cheer you up. We can do this. We can do this together. We're gonna discuss the sad mood. Alanis is not letting Arden out of their sight. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting gold. I feel like you just get me. Alanis can't even ruin their relationship no matter how hard they try. What the actual heck? They're once again closer from happy memories. Oh, I feel bad that you're crying now, but I can't apologize because I wasn't the one to do that. It was all on Alanis. They have no friendship whatsoever. They actually are really starting to dislike each other. We do actually have a free day in the challenge rules, but I don't think I'm gonna record that. I think I'm just gonna take the day to sort of work on relationships a little bit, whether it be flirty or friendly. I guess I'll just let the, the game sort of decide for me and I'll kind of just do what we did today with like building up our skills, like doing things that people like and enjoy probably play some like chess with miles and stuff so i will actually leave on my community page the next speed dating vote how many do we have left we have one two three four five six okay and i can only put five people in the vote so i think i will probably remove noah from the equation because I feel like we've had a really good date with Noah recently and therefore like I don't think Noah's gonna be up for elimination because honestly they've gone so well unless someone gets on better in the speed dates but we'll just wait and see so vote for who you want to go on a speed date with I'll probably get like three done again it seems to be my average these days but this part was dramatic as hell and I absolutely adore Alanis. I love the game that they're playing right now. I fully support them because this is what I expected from the contestants of the Bachelorette Challenge. I hope you all enjoyed it though and I will speak to you all in the next one. Bye now.